back guys. In this video series, part of the video series, we're going to be talking about communication between the server and the client. So we're going to use Socket Cluster for that. Now the great part about Socket Cluster is, is instead of making HTTP requests and opening, a, um, creating a request and response object, we're going to create an initial connection and just pass strings back and forth with uh, uh, JavaScript objects. And that makes it lightning fast. And so um, one of the cool parts about Socket Cluster is uh, the guy John from uh, Australia? If you go to Sock Cluster's website, uh, GitHub, and oops, GitHub, Sock Cluster, or his uh, GitHub um, page. Uh, what are they? This guy here. He's made it really, really nice and easy to do that. So let's show you how to do that. Oh, by the way, if you want to ever meet, uh, talk to this guy, he's on Glitter. And you can go to Sock Cluster Glitter. I believe it's, no. Just a, uh, oops, Glitter HQ, maybe. Oops, H, oops, HQ, I believe. On the other machine, I have it. Oh, it took me a while to find it, but just, um, I think, yeah, well, just look up Glitter HQ and you can, you can find him. Anyway, and he's on there. He's a super nice guy. And he'll help you out if you need help. Anyway, so. Let's make that connection. So first, let's go and create a server file. So server.js. Let's include it into the index here. So let's want to do this before the routes. Uh, well, it really doesn't matter, but let's do it before the routes here. And then we'll include this in. Now, this is one you definitely don't want anyone having access to, right? Let's do it here, okay? Um, and we need to create um, a link. Well, let's, let's just do this for right now. So um, in your index here, this file here gives you access to the socket cluster um, uh, function. And that's done here. So if you want to spend time parsing this and checking that out, it's pretty interesting. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Um, that's where you find it. Um, I believe we inserted that correctly. Yes, we did. Okay. So let's do it. So var socket equals socket cluster, I believe. Dot connect I believe that's right getting started we can go here and make sure um, yes that's correct okay so um, let's console log get the socket guy here okay so on load what will happen is it will create the connection so you can see here state connecting and then we can do um, Socket dot on ready. Oops, ready. Function console log socket refresh here. Refresh. Oh, on. Is it connected? I can never remember all the states. No, on connect maybe. There we go, on connect. So, and this is our ID to the server right here, and it's open, and it's just waiting for data to be passed back and forth. So this is how you connect to the server um, on the client side. Now, an important thing to note is this connect function here, you need to um, pass in data sometimes if you were trying to do SSL, that sort of stuff, and all the parameters are right here. There's a few more. Um, you, you can look at them right here. Uh, these are all the different parameters types. Um, this sort of stuff is more important for SSL and whatnot. But anyway, you can pass in a specific port number, however you want to do it. Um, we're just doing local hosts. So we're just going to connect. We don't need to pass in any data here. But in production, you might need to do like a host name with the, some URL, you know, or, or whatever, or port number, that sort of stuff. Okay. So let's do that now on the server side you need to be able to handle connections right and that's done in the worker so let's minimize this here let's go to the connection here we'll say client dot on uh, actually let's do this real quick let's oops let's console log client oops, client dot id has connected. Whee! There. And we'll refresh. 
this guy here we'll refresh actually that service i would need to restart okay i'll refresh Let's see server a client has connected so now we have data passing back and forth right that's pretty cool pretty super easy too uh, john has made it really 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 easy to do this okay so let's let's create some actual passing data back and forth so we'll say client on and we'll do let's see let's just do um message and we'll and we'll emit the data back to the to the client so we'll say client dot emit emit back the data he sent to us uh, server over here we will Play on connect we'll say client oh, socket dot emit oops no, we need to do message data emit message we'll pass you know let's say id one and name nick we'll pass an object back and forth then we'll say socket on message function data we'll console log that data back so and we'll we need to actually <laughs> put the data in there okay so there's that we'll restart this. we'll reset the server to make sure we're good to go we will refresh and you can see here we got the object back so actually let's go in here real quick and remove that's fine we'll just do that's fine we sent data to the server and we, we, we got it back right here um and hold on what happened here oh i, I need i'll fix that that's okay we won't worry about that right now so we'll just do uh we'll just do let's just do this Let's do this real quick. Um, oh, hold on. I gotta I got fix that one. Um, let's be here. Um, we got it ready, I believe. That should fix it. And data. Once it not just a moment here okay <laughs> now i feel dumb i forgot socket cluster uses message internally so you need to not use that use messages okay so I'll show you what i did here it is clear this clear the server restart re complete hard refresh we'll see there it is and no call stock exceeded What's happening is it's is, is calling itself back and forth and, and uh, blowing the application up. Okay, so we're good there. Okay, so that's basic communication, uh, socket cluster communication. As you can see, you can build that out quite a bit more, and we're going to do that in, in further videos. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope you uh, enjoy the videos. If you do, like them, and uh, please post any questions you have. Once again, this is uh, Nick, and uh, thanks for watching.